you children uh, today for 6th standard 6th maths we are going to learn a new chapter that is called lesson number 10 menstruation but uh, is this word a familiar to you i hope it is not so first of all let us understand what this word means menstruation means what menstruation means the measurement to measure something or in uh, detail if we go the part of a geometry cons concerned with asserting, ascertaining or to find out the lengths, areas and volumes. So in short mensuration is to measure the lengths, areas and volumes of a particular object. Lens is for distance, volumes is for uh, capacity or the, when we measure the liquids like oil, petrol, uh, etc, diesel, etc, we use the volumes. Areas, I will come on to that concept but in short, mensuration is nothing but to measure the object or to or a measurement. Okay, now in mensuration we are going to learn about the perimeter as well as area of the particular objects. But before going on to the area, we will see the perimeter concept first. What do you mean by the perimeter? Again, perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when you go around the figure once. Closed figure means it should be closed from all the four sides or five sides or six sides. Whatever the figure is given, Right, but it should be closed from all the sides. And perimeter is nothing but the distance that is covered along the boundary. See, for example, a farmer who wants to fence his field. You know fencing, we generally the farmers fence the field on the boundaries, right? That is outside the field to protect his crops from being eaten by the animals or some unknown animal or some of the people that cannot enter into that farm. So, perimeter is nothing but you can see this is the boundary which I had made with orange color that is called the perimeter. When you want to measure the boundaries of a particular object, right, this orange color what you see, these are the boundaries of a particular object. Here we can call it rectangle. These boundaries are nothing but when you want to calculate the boundaries, we use the perimeter. Here also you can see a square with orange boundary. That orange boundary is called the perimeter when you want to measure the boundaries of a of surrounding object, surrounding the object that is called perimeter. Here also this is a different uh, object or figure but here if you want to measure the perimeter of an object Again, these are the boundaries what you measure for the perimeter. In short, perimeter is about the outer boundary or the outer um, sides of a particular object. Okay, now in perimeter, what we are going to learn or how we are going to solve out the sums. So, for that, we have some of the formulas which help us to solve our exercise 10.1. First, perimeter of a rectangle, the formulas for perimeter of a rectangle. You know that in rectangle, two lengths, that is opposite lengths are of same um, size or same measurement and breadths are of same measurement. So, here two times length is repeated, two times breadth is repeated. So, the formula is very easy to multiply by into the bracket. I repeat into the bracket L plus B. L is nothing but length, B is but whenever the number is given inside the bracket, first of all this is a rule to open the bracket by adding or subtraction or whatever the arithmetical operation is given inside the bracket. So first of all when we will solve the perimeter of a rectangle, we will solve the brackets first and then we will multiply the answer with 2. This 2 is nothing but 2 times L that is length and 2 times breadth. Second is perimeter of a square. You know that in square all the four sides are same. So we do not have breadth. All the four sides are length. So the formula to find out perimeter of a square is 4 into L that is length. And third one perimeter of an equilateral triangle. What do you mean by an equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle means 
square all the three you know a triangle why it is called triangle because it is having three sides or three angles so in an equilateral triangle all the three sides are having the same measurement so there are three sides so 3 into l that is length hopefully this is clear to you you coming on to exercise 10.1